Hi everyone! Today we'll be looking at investment opportunities between two restaurant giants, Starbucks and Dunkin' Brands. Beginning with fundamentals, Starbucks is a provider of premium quality coffee in about 70 countries with 19 billion US dollars in revenues. Dunkin', on the other side, is a franchising business mainly selling coffee, baked goods and ice cream in nearly 60 countries. The sales amount to 811 million US dollars, much lower than those of its counterpart. Going into the relative wealth chart, Starbucks has its CFRI levels higher than its discount rate, which implies wealth creation for shareholders over the past years. The acquisition of Tivana in 2012 has led to an upward trend in CFROI levels. Asset growth has been very high at the beginning due to rapid expansion, but slowed down afterwards. It saw an increasing trend after 2012 again. Starbucks's mature business may see the effect of the concept of fate, which lead to lower expected CFROI levels and asset growth levels. The bottom chart shows that the markets have responded well as an overall, with the exception during the global financial crisis in 2008. As for Duncan Brands, CFROI levels have remained steady at high levels but are expected to go down in the future. Asset growth has fluctuated significantly and is predicted to have a decreasing trend. Markets have had mixed reactions relative to the S&P over the years. Sales growth has dropped for Starbucks over the years but has been steady at 10% from 2010. Operating margins have been very stable at around 20 to 25 percent. As for Dunkin', sales growth has been fluctuating greatly over the years, which shows that the company hasn't been able to stabilize its sales growth. However, Dunkin's has been doing well in maintaining its high operating margins due to its franchising business model. Looking into the future, Starbucks remains a strong player in the market with its rapid expansion and product innovation. Dunkin's, on the other hand, has a greater product variety, but its highly leveraged business and its poor franchisee relationships remain key weaknesses. Increasing coffee demand is an opportunity, while strong competition is a threat to both companies. Up next, the flex valuation has been used to predict warranted prices for both companies. Starbucks, with its sustained growth and potential tax cuts under the Trump administration, sees a potential upside of 8% in stock price. Duncan Brands sees a downside of over 20% in the coming years due to poorer sales and legal issues with franchisees. To end with the investment recommendation, I expect Starbucks to outperform and Duncan to underperform.